do you ever look at something like something back from like the past like maybe a year ago a couple months ago and be like i used to eat down i saw my makeup i'm gonna scream how is that how am i the same person look at that makeup look i was like no nah, fatty is fattiness now so we're gonna do a baddie makeup look because i used to do the baddie looks back to back to back to back to back let's do a baddie look now we're gonna do like really like really baddie it up so we'll start off with the anastasia dip brow the lighting is just so good today i'm screaming open this up before the brows i use um what type of brush would this be it's like a very kind of it's a pretty small brush and I just dip in the product or just grab a bunch. I really want them to look very defined and dark. So I just go ahead and just define that brow. I'm going to like conceal it after just to like really perfect it as well. And bring it in. I'm going to make sure it's kind of on an angle where it's going to be lifted. So when I go and conceal that, I'm going to conceal it to be like angled up. I want to give soap eyebrows another chance because, you know, soap eyebrows don't really suit me. I think part of the reason is because I have thin eyebrows as well. Like I don't have much eyebrow hair. So it's not going to suit me the same way it would with girls with natural fluffy eyebrows. Because I see people with natural fluffy eyebrows and I think it suits them but when I have that on myself like when I try and like when I recreate that look I just think it's not my vibe I'm so used to the 2016 vibe that it's just my thing 2016 brows I love it so just go in bring it close like so, wow this one looks good kind of want to lift it up though I'm gonna lift it to be more out here let's conceal these brows now now with this type of brush, I've put in like a bunch of concealer at the end, just the tip of the brush. And I'm going to go in and carve out these brows just to make them look really defined and snatch. I feel like the look that I kind of did was like defined, snatch, the eyebrows like dark but not smoky. I don't know. I hope I can recreate it. I, th I feel like I can. So I'm just going to go in and put a bit of the product there. See, that looks very like a lot. And put a bit here as well. And then I just go in and carve out these brows lightly first. What is going on today? I just randomly decided to just do different eyebrows than the usual. Okay, so we've put some concealer and then we set it with some Huda Beauty powder on my eyes. Now looking at the eye look I did here, if you can see that, ends of my eyes look like a dark, like a deeper colour. So I'm going to go in with my um, Juvia's Palace, the Nubian 2 palette and go in with the shade Kenya because I remember using that quite a bit around that time as well I still use it now and really just actually pack it in with the Kenya and just focus on the ends and like not put anything at the front of the lids and lift it up kind of just a little bit like that other side and put none at the front like we don't want any eyeshadows at the front of the eyes like just the ends a little bit here and here but that's it and we'll get back to the eyes now we're gonna put some foundation on and we'll just get a, a pump of that i don't know if i did one or two back then so i'll just go two for safe measures and i'll go in with this brush and just like splash it on my face first and go everywhere and then whatever's left, like literally the minimum left, I'll put that on my head. 
I feel like this look is basically what I do now, but I don't know what difference there was then and now, honestly, because I didn't know when my makeup ever looked like that. I could not remember. Wow. Well, you just blend that and then the leftovers right on my head and really just pack that leftover in. <laughs> With this contour that there's nothing, basically nothing in there, I'm going to go contour like this down here. I might bring some here just for the shape of my nose. But that's it. Down in there. That will just do a line there. I think. <laughs> We're guessing what look I did then. This is the nose. I, like, my nose is barely contoured then. So I think, like, where I put the concealer is kind of going to cover it. And the contour is going to be, like, peeping underneath. Um, I'm guessing, okay. I'm going to use this Fenty concealer. This shade 410. I haven't used it in a bit. I'm just... Oh, that's a brightening one. Okay, we're ready here. Just commit to the bit. Okay, I want to put some concealer here. I just don't want my forehead to be like a whole different colour. I don't know if that makes sense what I'm doing. And we really want this to have a line. Let's blend this out. I love makeup. So you see, like, it's a fun art. Now let's go back in with the Fenty concealer and conceal my under eyes. And what we're also gonna do is put concealer here so that we can do a reverse contour on the nose contour and then bring it into the nose as well so my nose contour isn't harsh. Beauty sponge and blend here. I reverse that. Hit that reverse and blend here. I forgot about the ones there. Okay, we'll blend that soon. Wow, I completely forgot. Hopefully they don't dry up. Can I do two things at once? No, I can't. <laughs> like, no, I can't. It's like that thing like patting your head and rubbing your stomach. Some people can do it, not all people can do it. Then like the left, do you see what I'm doing? Like bring it over the nose so it's not as harsh. Also while still doing all this blending, quickly get my brush and blend these out so it's not dried up. I want it to have that line though. Do you see that line here? Now with our Huda Beauty powder, just really pack in a bunch. You see how much I've got there? Grab it, make sure the ends so in the creases it's not doing too much and then put it in this look is a very it's a bright under eye but it, my face kind of just looks like really lit up in that look don't know how I did that honestly and go under and then lift and bring some to the eye and remember we didn't put any powder on the eyes we well we didn't put any what was it called? Eyeshadow on the centers. So we can still go back and do this when we're doing the thing. Even though it was set with powder already. I don't know how to explain. Like you can go back and still go on top and it's not going to ruin the eyeshadow because there's no eyeshadow look there to begin with. And then kind of just whatever leftovers put around. And just keep going until it's kind of like really just blend it how you want it to be you don't want it to look like this look is harsh but not too harsh do you see that it's very bright but my uh, makeup oxidizes over time as well like keep that in fact i will come back around in like 10 minutes as well i'll show you the oxidized look now that we've done that we go in with what do i need this crayon And my waterline needs to be black. A good reminder is makeup looks like makeup. So like if you see someone online and you think, wow, like just remember makeup looks like lip makeup, like up close and we have textures, we're human. Look at us under eyes. 
let me just check if I did anywhere else on my eyes it's looking like here and here so we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna do an eyeliner anyways I looked everywhere to look for my liquid liner I couldn't find it so we're gonna use this same like crayon pencil and do an eyeliner with this I was preferring a liquid one for this look very honest how am I gonna do that I wanted it to be liquid Did I just find it? I just found it! <laughs> it's meant to be. Found my liquid liner. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, let's do that. Okay. That was hard because I had a really shaky hand. But I did one eye. Let's do the other side. Wow. Am I feeling okay? Okay. Eyeliner done. My hand is so shaky. I'm not sure why. I remember what I used to use a lot. I'd go in with, a, with this brush and then go in with my Festival BYS palette. Go in with the eyeshadow red and use that as blush. It's also a really nice blush. I'll just go in, grab a bit like that. Use my mirror and use it as blush. I don't think I was putting any blush on my nose then. So we'll leave the nose alone today. Let's highlight my nose from an eyeshadow palette. Let's go there and go down the bridge. Let's blend it a bit with the finger. Like so. My lips, what I would do is go in with a brush. Go in a black eyeshadow. Just pack on some on a black eyeshadow. And... Go like that. Do you see how pretty the lips are? That's a hack if you don't have any lip liner. I miss when I did that look. It's so cute. Let's put on some lashes. I think that's all we have left. Lashes will just finish off this look. And we're set. The eyelashes are on. Do you see the difference it made? So this is the finish body look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this body look. I like it, I feel it, it's been a while since I've done a look like this, I love it, and I'll see you guys next time.